Hey, hi there Virgo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda and I'm thanking you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your weekend reading, April 12th to the 14th. Virgo, this is good for your sun, moon, and rising. And this is a condensed general reading, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibrations into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Leo. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card... It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Three of Pentacles, Virgo. This is Earth energy. Represents synergy and employment. This is support from teamwork and nice critics teaching you how to do it better. It's okay to listen to them. This is a lucky card. People are coming together to make something happen. It's a foundation being set. The early stages of progress, and now a project begins manifestation. This is using your knowledge to turn a profit, yet there's still much to learn. You're rethinking your efforts to see if they match up with your long-term goals. There's assistance and contribution and teamwork. There's guidance and planning and mentors. And critics. Take critics as teacher. They really are helping you grow. Criticism helps. Helps you learn. Priorities are established, and plans are being put into action. There's initial successes here. There's integrity and ethics, as well as vision and skill and spiritual values you're bringing to this project. You're being cooperative and inspired by a team effort. This is skills and efforts and plans. You're discussing things and building up foundation. This is a quality of workmanship and using high standards and asking for opinions. Your second card, and this is the energy crossing over your path. This is great, Virgo. The Ten of Cups. This is water energy and represents shared love and homecoming. This is a happy family. It's contentment and lasting happiness because it's inspired from above. This is true love and perfect human love. It's better than expected. And you're going to be embarking on something that makes life worth living. A happy home and shared love and blessings. There's peace here and a grateful and joyous family. And you have enough happiness to share with those around you. There are emotional connections in your home life that are blessed. So take time to be grateful for all the love and happiness you have in your life and focus on what you do have, not on what you have not yet received. You see, the rainbow is symbolic of the connectedness with God, with creation, and of the fulfillment of great wishes, the fulfillment of lifelong dreams. It's a rainbow of promise, the ultimate in happiness. A lot of love is available both to give and receive. If you had a string of bad luck or anxiety about something, it's over and with good results. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. This is your attitude. The Ten of Wands, Virgo. This is fire energy. You're feeling overloaded. A need to bear up. This is someone burdened by life, and responsibility is wearing them down. There's something that you may not be able to let go of. But your problem is soon to be solved. These are beginnings and endings. They're ambitious burdens, perhaps a heart tried by pain. This is fortune and gain and any kind of success, and it is also the oppression of these things. This is your tech second ten in the reading, which represents change. You might be feeling resentful and taking stock of your priorities. You're taking up new responsibilities that are appropriate to the new cycle that's beginning now. They may seem burdensome, but you do have the strength to shoulder them. You feel you can do anything at this time, even an extremely difficult task. 
but you might feel your labor has gone for naught, or you may be carrying burdens that don't really belong to you. You feel weary, as if the whole world is on your shoulders, and it's up to you to decide whether to continue carrying these heavy responsibilities you've undertaken, or if other people are shirking their part and should help out. Make sure others are doing their fair share. Ask for help if you need it, and don't let pride stand in the way. Your fourth card, it's the card of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Wow, what a great card, Virgo. The Nine of Cups. More water energy. This is the Wish card. There's great satisfaction here. It's material wealth and great joy and happiness and your dreams coming true. This is everything you wanted and hoped for. There's gratitude you hear, and you're appreciating what you have now. This is wish fulfillment and contentment. Sometimes it can be overindulgence. When you feel like hosting a party. This is feeling really good, or you're soon going to be. This is overflowing love and intense pleasure. So take some time visualizing what you want to help you stay on, take those steps towards making your dreams a reality. You feel you're going to feel like you have it all. But be warned. Be warned that your behavior is not coming off as being smug or a braggart. There's a positive end to a problem that was quite important, and it's going to bring joy and success. This is a triumphant end to a problem. It's the fulfillment of a desire of paramount importance. There's emotional stability indicated, as well as physical and material happiness. There's sensual pleasure indicated, satisfaction and enjoyment, peace and harmony, and it comes from within you. So stay true to love and do something enjoyable together. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. The Four of Pentacles, Virgo. This is Earth energy. This is being cautious and stable and trying to have balance in your life and being conservative. This is holding on and being defensive in your comfort zone. But you might have a fixed attitude which would limit and block new opportunities. But you're trying to save and be stable and cautious. It's protecting your money and your boundaries. But the advice is to go with the flow. Your foundation is firm. You're holding back on something, so nothing ventured is nothing gained. Holding on to his gold, he risks nothing, nor does he gain anything. This can apply to anything someone holds dear, also being a miser with your love and emotion, as well as money. So take a risk, and get things moving again. Bragging or fawning will not get you ahead, so be patient and cultivate your best talents. You might be in danger of becoming too stingy or holding on too much to feelings and not letting go. So the advice is to be generous in your wealth and spirit. And now your advice from the Oracle deck, The Sacred Traveler, by Denise Lynn. This is discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Listen to the wisdom that rises from your soul, even if those around you don't agree. Trust your instincts. Be yourself, whatever the situation, and respond from the authentic place inside. Be starkly honest with yourself. Speak your truth. Live your truth. Walk your talk. Listen to your inner guidance and follow it. You radiate the energy of truth to others so that they can find their truth. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that if you're facing a decision and your mind says one thing and your heart says another, follow the dictates of the heart and you'll be on the right path. If you get a nudge to speak to someone or go in a particular direction, don't hesitate. Follow this guidance. On your journey, others may indicate what path you should take and why. You can listen to their advice. However, if your heart indicates another way, follow that. There's a place inside yourself that always knows the truth. Yes, our souls resonate and vibrate to the truth. So take time to be still, to discover that genuine place of knowing within. Often the hardest thing about living your truth is discovering what it is. So it's important to slow down, be quiet, and listen to the whispers of your soul. If there's an area of your life in which you're not being authentic, or where you're not integrity with your values, this is the time to make some changes. 
Here's your take note moment. We are never alone in any, anything and everything we do, unless that is what you think. When we realize we have the power of the universe responding to our every thought, waiting and ready to help, we can achieve anything. Then our fear disappears. Nothing can stand in our way except ourselves. All we have to do is believe. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.